Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. I have here a piece of 7 8 outer diameter by half inch inner diameter DOM tubing. Now, DOM stands for drawn over mandrel, so as its name implies, this tube is made by taking a flat bar, rolling it into a cylindrical shape, welding the seam, and then drawing it over a mandrel so that you get a nice, smooth, circular profile on the inside of the tubing as well as on the outside. Now, some people will tell you that you should never try to make gun barrels out of DOM tubing because that welded seam represents a weak spot in the tube. Uh, certainly, if we were to pressurize this tube to failure, we would expect it to burst right along that seam, either in the weld or in the heat-affected zone adjacent to the weld. However, there is actually a historical precedent for making gun barrels out of DOM tubing. Um, you know, back in the early days of muskets and muzzle-loading rifles, uh, if a colonial gunsmith went to make a barrel for a Pennsylvania long rifle, or something like that, for example, you know, he didn't have our modern machine tools to bore out a uh, piece of solid bar stock to make that barrel. And so he would take a piece of flat bar and he would forge it around a mandrel and forge weld the barrel uh, and make something, you know, really akin to a predecessor of DOM tubing. And so I would hypothesize that modern DOM tubing probably has ample strength for uh, musket barrels, muzzle loaders, other, <coughs> other types of firearms that operate at relatively low pressure. Uh, and so to test my hypothesis, I'm going to take this piece of DOM tubing. I'm going to plug one end with a plug that has a uh, flash hole and priming pocket drilled out in it. Uh, I'm going to cut some threads on it and we'll turn this into a barrel for my homemade Utah pistol. And then we will take it out and proof test it and see whether it blows up or whether DOM tubing is actually a viable option for muzzle loader barrels. Well, there is our DOM barrel. Now it's time to take it out and proof test it. Well, that passed our proof test with flying colors, so I'm inclined to conclude that DOM tubing of adequate wall thickness is a very viable option for muzzle loader barrels. Anyway, I'm going to take this out and do some more shooting, but until next time, thanks for watching the Idaho Show.